All right, so here we are. Now we've got all of our mag pouches out here. So, um, one of the th so we've talked about our weapon selection, holster selection. One of the things that we need to address also is your magazine holster uh, as well. So your mag pouches are, are essentially the same thing. It's a holster for your mags, but you need to um, carry an additional mag or have access to an additional mag because uh, in stressful situations, some people uh, fire a lot of rounds and it, in, in a life and death situation, there's a, there's a lot of rules and a lot of things like the most engagements happen at three to five yards and there are only three to five rounds fired and all these other, but those are, those are not hard and fast rules. Those are just, you know, vague descriptions. Uh, you never know what kind of situation you're going to find yourself in. So you want to make sure that you are able to keep that gun in the fight. You want to be able to, to ensure that that gun can in continue to protect you for the reason that you bought it for and the reason that you went and got training for and the, all these different reasons. Uh, and the one way to do that is one, to you know, learn your drills, you know, how to keep the gun run, up and running, uh, even including jams and stuff like that, which will videos we may get into later, not sure yet. Uh, but the biggest thing is keeping it fed. You got to keep bullets in the gun for that gun to be able to protect you or else it just turns into a hammer and that can be used that way too. So uh, pistol whipping's been around for a long time, so ain't a, whole lot of, ain't a whole lot wrong with that sometimes too. Okay, so getting into holsters, uh, we have a couple different kinds here. We got uh, rifle, and uh, let's start off with some rifle uh, mags and stuff like that. So I have a lot of different kinds that I've used for different things, and this is just some of the loose ones I had here. You have cloth, uh, cloth ones that are collapsible. We run into the same thing with these that we do with our other holsters. These are great for uh, just storing mags, having them readily, readily available, but they're not great for go, you know, retaining the mag and putting it in, back into, uh, the whole, into the mag pouch for retention later. Okay, so those are, these are uh, some of the things. These are great, these are low cost. You can get these, just, uh, there's a hundred different companies that make things like these, these fabric holsters, and you can get them uh, for very little cost, but they're great for storing them. They're just not great for, for, ret for retention. Okay, uh, going on to the other side of the house, you have uh, hard polymer uh, magazine pouches that you can tighten, and this makes it very easy, very quick to employ an additional mag. And and part of the reason I wanted to talk about the rifle ones as well is uh, just because is is that a lot of people are buying handguns for defense, but there's also a uh, uh, a, a ton of people, let's say a ton, there's, there's millions of people that are out there buying AR-15s for home defense as well and for uh, just in, in these times with these record sales. So retaining a mag, an extra magazine for your AR-15 is just as important as retaining an extra mag for your pistol. Your pistol's going to run out far quicker than your AR-15, but again, keep, you got to keep that gun fed to keep it employed. All right, moving on to pistol, you have a, a lot of different ones that, uh, that this, this one feeds to the belt. It's hard polymer. It has the adjustimer, adju adjustimer, adjustable screw on here to tighten for, you can tighten this up and for it to, for to retain this and hold it in there really tight so it won't accidentally fall out. And then if you're doing something where you want to shoot fast, you're shooting a competition or something like that, you can loosen this screw up and then it, be, it becomes a little easier to draw. Of course, it's not going to retain them as well, but it's 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 kind of an adjustable holster. It's going to protect the magazine uh, from from getting crushed, and getting dirty, all these different things. But it doesn't offer full protection because on the back here, you can see that we still have the loaded uh, or the the it, how many the round indicator uh, holes that are in here. These round indicator holes are just like anything else. Dirt, debris, and stuff can get in there. So these don't offer the best protection against debris as, as some other mag pouches, but these are very quick and very easy to uh, do your reloads, very fast reloads, very easy to go back to the mag pouch as well once you, if you want to retain that magazine. Moving on, more fabric holsters. These are also great in the fact that these can retain the, retain the mags and hold them they protect them against bumps, abrasions, stuff like that, but they still, some of them, depending on the height and which magazine you're using, some of them still have the uh, loaded, uh, the round count indicators are still exposed, so things can still get in there. But these protect the mags very well against get, burning in, uh, hitting walls, uh, obstacles, things like that when you're, when you're on the move. Uh, retain them very well, but once you 
go for a reload, it's a little more difficult sometimes to get these back in there. You, you fumble, the Velcro kind of sticks and some back down, stuff like that. So these are a little bit, these are a little bit slower on reloads and going back to the holster, but they protect it very well. Uh, you have a couple others. Uh, this is more of a kind of a, almost like a concealment type thing. It, most people would look at this and think that this is like a knife pouch uh, and not really expect this to be a, uh, a pistol mag. So this is kind of an in plain sight concealment type thing. Uh, but it's going to be the same thing. It's, it's fabric. It protects this very well, uh, but it's going to be a little bit slower on a reload. And then on top of that, uh, Going back, if you want to retain that magazine, trying to get that magazine back, threaded back into here under stress will be fairly difficult. Moving on to uh, some of the more popular options for open carry and, and competition or, or rigs, if you're wearing this on uh, belt rigs or anything like the one I just showed earlier, uh, are your elastic retention type um, on here. You got, you got, you got several uh, different manufacturers. Uh, these go in here. They hold very tight. They protect the magazine very, the, very well. Uh, still have open sides to uh, get some dirt and debris in there, but uh, they also clear very well. So if, if something does get down in there, you know, dirt and debris, they have drainage holes. They're open on all sides. So water, things like that, maritime operations, stuff like that, these still retain very well, but it allows all that to come out. Whereas some of these, uh, when, once they get wet, they're, they're much more difficult to use. And then moving on with that, this still has some fabric on it. This version here is all, is pretty much all polymer. And if you know you're going to be in wet environments and things like that, this would be a very good option in the fact that this uh, whole thing is plastic. It's not going to retain. So you get out, of, if you have leather or these fabrics, once you get out and you get to an area and you can dry your gear off or dry yourself off, these are all still going to retain water. They're still going to keep all your gear wet. So things like these are going to allow you to uh, shake it, let it get the excess water off, and it's going to dry very quickly. Uh, some of the other models also uh, come with different locking devices. This is a Blade Tech, and, it, and, and they have a, a system called Tech Lock. But a lot of them have different ways to affix this gear to your belt. So those are the, some of the things that you want to think about as well. You know, what, what are you going to be putting it on? If you're going to be putting it on just a plain old belt, and you're, and, and you're in an open situation where you don't mind if, if someone sees it, this is going to lock it on there. It's going to secure it very, very securely. Uh, if you're in a situation where you want to try and conceal, then you're going to want to go into something like this. Uh, this is a snag mag. We've, we've done a little, uh, little work with them and, and some testing and stuff like that. But these are designed, you have snag mag, you have neo mag, you have a bunch of other ones that are designed to really give you a low signature and, and as far as uh, concealed carry because these will go into your pocket just like this and they tuck down in there and it really looks more like I have a, let me stand back here just a little bit, our table is just a little bit too tall. There we go, get my hips up there. All right, put your hips into it. Anyways, the, so this looks more like a knife. All right, so this looks like I have a knife in my pocket, which is very common, uh, but w uh, essentially what it does is it allows me to be able to go into a draw. So if, I'm, if I go for a reload, I can come down and withdraw this magazine very quickly out of my pocket. It stays open, this, this polymer that sits on here keeps this in, a, in an open position so that I have this gap in my, in my pocket so that when I go back, <laughs> I, yeah, we, we, raised, we might have raised the table just a little too high. But as I go, if I want to retain this, I can still take this and, and reinsert it. It's not going to be the, the most secure, but it allows me to stick in my pocket, and it's much better than just trying to go back to your regular pocket and trying to flip around and try and get that thing in there or to a back pocket, uh, like I got my cell phone in my back pocket right now. If I try to shove this in there, you know, it might, it might come out, fall out, whatever. So you have a lot of different options when it comes to uh, mag, mag pouches, but the one thing you definitely want to do is you want to be ready for the fight. You want to be uh, prepared and having this additional uh, source of ammunition to keep your gun running. So now we're going to move on to uh, belts. Be right back.